I'm only human, you know? I can only take so much when it's day in and day out. A non-stop barrage of comments from you guys. Leon, OnlyFans, when? Hey, Leon, when are you gonna start an OnlyFans? I'd gladly pay. Look, I get it, okay? When you have a peach as supple and as ripe as I do, as if Michelangelo came back from the dead and sculpted it with his own two hands. Damn, boy, he fit! The modern-day Sistine Chapel. I'm just leaving fat bags of money on the table by not spreading my cheeks for the internet. To be honest, it was never a morality struggle for me. I was just insecure because I didn't know the steps I needed to take to make an OnlyFans business that could generate a thousand dollars a day selling my succulent flesh. But by the grace of God, Emma Rose popped up in my Twitter feed the other day and she's about to solve all those problems and we can finally get started on becoming OnlyFans rich. Let's take a peek at what she has to offer. Hey guys, I'm Emma and I'm a top 1% creator on OnlyFans. I've helped people just like you make a livable income on OnlyFans without even getting naked. I'm sorry, without even getting naked, you said? <laughs> the hell's the fun in that? that is... Whether you're just starting out on OnlyFans or in the process of creating one, this program is for you. Designer wallet, check. Supercar, check. Holding a fat stack of $20 bills for no apparent Ooh. reason, check, check, check! This girl's living the dream! You know, if we're gonna get into character, I need to start showing a little flesh at least. Oh. Oh. Listen, normally these guns command a lower tier premium to view, but since you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you can see them for free. Oh, what was that? You're not subscribed yet? Well, close your f***ing eyes, because these aren't for you. I give you all the secret tips and tricks other creators don't want you to know that you need in order to be a successful content creator. Has there ever been a paid course in the history of paid courses that doesn't offer secret tips and tricks that you need that other people don't know? That's like rule number one of paid course. I just need all the secret tips and tricks. Being an OnlyFans content creator has allowed me to become financially independent before the things I always wished I had. I get to walk around with stacks of $20 bills like this because it's a marketing gimmick that works on young children. Before I knew all the secrets to OnlyFans, I was juggling a part-time job with being a full-time student, not making 20 times as much and have all the free time. All right, listen, this isn't shade towards her, but if you're making all this goddamn cash, can you can you invest in some audio fidelity for your f***ing pitch? video please it's like the room echo the audio's dog shit you're using camera audio it sounds like with this obnoxious background music that's overtaking your voice i'm here to try to learn how to monetize my bussy but all i can think about is how the echoey camera mic is getting drowned out by the edm music that's sitting front and center in the mix my tips and tricks will help you rapidly accelerate your growth as a top content creator without getting naked without needing an abundance of social media followers and without jeopardizing a potential career all right so you don't need a lot of followers that's great news. Uh, you can make 20x your money. So if you're like a student working part time to try to get by, this is perfect for you. And you won't actually jeopardize your career because apparently you don't even have to get naked. But spreading your ass cheeks with a tiny little G string in front of it is 100% better. That's totally fine. Just don't, just don't show anything off limits, I guess. All right, if you guys have watched me for a while, you know I love a good sales funnel landing page, right? So here we are. The course, which is normally $159, is offered to us for only $79. What incredible savings right off the bat. I especially love this. 226 reviews, five stars, or 4.96 stars. Of course, that's not clickable, so that's probably just a dot .png uh, without actual any reviews to back it up. Here's a couple of big myths. I need to have a big following. I need to get nude. I need to look like an Insta model. None of that's true. Uh, you can easily make 500 to $1,000 a day by looking like a troll and doing nothing. You just need the tips and tricks, obviously. Of course, we have student testimonials, an integral part of uh, any landing page. This girl from Dallas here was blown away that she could make $350 a day without posting nudes. That seems to be a big marketing pitch here. It's accessible to everyone because you don't have to post nudes to make money. You just have to wear a G-string and put little pasties over your nipples because nudes are bad. That's a sin. Pasties and G-string, totally acceptable. God will let you into heaven. No big deal. Jokes aside for a moment though, I'm not trying to knock anybody's hustle, okay? I realized OnlyFans is just a, a paywall for delivering content to people. No different than Patreon, uh, channel memberships on YouTube. Of course, OnlyFans has become synonymous with more like amateur adult content. I'm simply here because I am sick and tired of not driving a supercar and keeping my money in an investment account when I could simply be walking around with fat stacks of $20 bills because it looks way fucking cooler on social media. Now at this point you're probably screaming out loud, Leon, please don't waste $79 on this course. It's a fun meme, we get it, just wrap it up. But uh, sorry to bust your nut. But aside from using cantaloupes as a fleshlight, my other big fetish is wasting money on dumb shit, so let's do it. Welcome to OFX. Here we go. Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to my course on how to make money on OnlyFans. I'm so excited that you are considering joining the platform, and I- Oh, the audio fidelity. Yeah.
I realize I'm missing the forest for the trees here. This isn't about audio production or video production. It's about <sighs> spreading cheeks, but I just, Oh, the room noise, the camera audio, God almighty. I feel like when you're a top 1% OnlyFans creator, you could afford to spring for a lav mic. You know what, I'm splitting hairs. Now, don't listen to me, I'm sorry. To becoming a successful creator just like me. To start, I would love to give you a bit of background on myself and how I found a career in OnlyFans. I'm 20 years old and was born and raised in Northern California. <laughs> you can really just feel the enthusiasm coming from, it's, it's palpable almost, she's very, not robot-like at all. Anyways, let's go. Chapter one, uh, what is OnlyFans? We all know what that is. We're gonna skip that. Should you become an OnlyFans creator? Video four, why you should become an OnlyFans creator. The why. There are plenty of reasons why now is a great time to become an OnlyFans creator. This, see, this is perfect. Anyone that ever tells you, like any entrepreneur that's successful is like, hey, if you're gonna go out on a limb and start your own business, like you need to figure out what your why is, right? What really drives you? So I'm curious to see, uh, why we should become OnlyFans creators uh, from the words, uh, from the mouth of Emma. As I said earlier, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, OnlyFans usage in search engine traffic has skyrocketed. In this digital age where work, school, and life in general all seem to be online, plenty of users all over the world are looking to services like OnlyFans. Since COVID, she's not wrong. People are home more uh, and traffic online is up. People need a way to satisfy their desires, as she puts it. Uh, and OnlyFans is a great way to deliver fresh new content for those people hungry for for that content. The average content creator making around 180 per month. While this amount might seem minuscule, keep in mind that your profit scale. A little bit of trouble with the script reading uh, through some of these, and some unflattering cuts, which is I guess in line with uh, the audio quality. So no surprise there. Everyone has the ability to become a successful OnlyFans content creator. But what a lot of people fail to realize is there's more than just taking pictures and posting them. I especially like that we get to visually see her scrolling uh, through the script as she reads it here on the trackpad. I gotta be honest, I feel like the ebook route might have been the way to go here. I understand that videos, you can charge a little bit more, but the videos aren't really providing anything additional than simply showing your face. You might as well just be reading off a piece of paper. Some skills content creator possesses what? includes photography and videography. Some skills content creator possesses photography vitagography 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 I'm sorry I kid you know what I take the piss I do but I just one of the things I've learned in my time on the internet is to try is to play to your strengths right if you're good at talking make a podcast if you're a writer write books make ebooks if you're good in front of a camera make videos play to your strengths don't like i don't write things i don't write a blog because i suck dick at writing i'm better doing dumb shit and move my hands a lot in front of a camera that's why i do what i do you won't catch me dead writing a blog maybe she should stick to not using video as her way of communication. I'm just, just, this is my opinion as somebody who does this professionally as well. So there's three chapters and 17 videos left. I'm gonna be picky and choosy with what I look at because obviously I'm not gonna give away the whole course, of course not, and uh, I couldn't possibly bear watching it all. Forming an LLC for your OnlyFans profile instead of operating as a sole proprietor allows you to write off taxes by listing all of the supplies and equipment you use as business expenses. See, now we're getting into the value. We're talking about how to start your own business, sole proprietorship, start an LLC, set up a business account. These are all valuable things. I'm sure anybody that has never started a business in their life or worked for themselves um, could find some useful information in here. I will admit, if you've never created your own LLC before, it may sound intimidating, but it's actually very easy and it will help you a lot in the long run. Just do a Google search for filing an LLC in, and then include your state. <laughs> this, is, this, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Hey, buy my course, I'll teach you how to set up an LLC. And then you go to the video and she's like, okay, well, just Google how to set up an LLC in your state and then it'll tell you how. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was actually gonna, right before I watched that part, I was gonna say literally you can learn all these things by Googling and spending half an hour reading about it. Or you could spend 79 bucks on a course to tell you to Google about it, whatever fucking fits, floats your boat, whatever melts your butter, you know? You see this I'm curious about because how do you price a pound of flesh? Like if it was up to me, just showing a little bit of skin above my knee would cost 
other people hundreds of dollars. This is some sacred ass flesh right here, covered in hair, uh, kind of lots of moles, not really that illustrious, but unique in a lot of ways. If I'm showing full starfish, I'm going spread, that's minimum six figures, but I wanna, I gotta see what other people are pricing at because I need to stay competitive. You'll need to set a subscription rate that users will pay before having access to view your exclusive content. Yes. Set your rate too low and you'll be missing out on potential profit. Set it too high and you won't be able to find any subscribers. What is the sweet spot? Based on all the other OnlyFans content creators out there, here's a general classification of what's considered. Cheap subscriptions generally range between free and $9.99. I'm sorry, free? Is that, did you say free? How the fuck? How am I gonna be driving supercars and carrying around bundles of 20s if if I'm giving away free subscriptions? This makes no sense at all. Why is that even part of this course? $9.99 sounds a little bit closer, but that's still way undervaluing all this. Sometimes erotic accessories. Here's some tools and gadgets that will help you create content worth. To start a What? Sometimes erotic accessories. Here's some tools and gadgets that will help you create content worth. To start a webcam is recommended. <laughs> Here's a list of tools you can use to become a successful YouTuber and finally get started with your career on. Camera gear. To start, a webcam is recommended. Yeah. A good 1080p webcam is inexpensive and you can find one that does the job for less than $30 off on Amazon. That is great news. I've been searching far and wide for a webcam that is less than $30 off and I can't, I, uh. Instagram account, you can link your OnlyFans profile in your bio to divert your Instagram followers to your OnlyFans. Okay, so uh, the pitch was in the beginning that you don't need followers to make a lot of money on OnlyFans. And now some advice to promote your OnlyFans profile is to send your Instagram followers to OnlyFans. What? Okay, final chapter, how to grow, focus on new subs and content variety, building Linktree, expanding your services. Uh, conclusion. There may come a point in time where you may start to notice that your subscriber growth rate is capped, or you might find your subscribers making requests for different types of content. These are some key indicators that exploring different kinds of content might be the best course of action to keep your profile growing. Yeah, you know all those horny assholes that stick around and constantly pester you to post nudes even though you told yourself you wouldn't? Well, if you want to keep them around, you probably have to eventually post nudes. I mean, let, look at Belle Delphine. No, I'm kidding. Of course, there's other ways to post a variety of content, but uh, unfortunately for most men, that is that is that is the end game. That's the reality of it. As an OnlyFans entrepreneur, the only thing holding you back is how much time and effort you're willing to invest. By having the knowledge and capability to adapt to your audience's needs and change the direction of your profile, you have the edge over 60,000 other OnlyFans content creators out there. I hope that you feel fully equipped to pursue your ventures in, as an entrepreneur, and I wish you the best in your OnlyFans career. Well, that's it. I am now fully equipped with the knowledge and the tools to spread ass and make cash, baby. I mean, you already know the couple scenes are gonna be gassed. If you've been around for a minute, you know that Nigel is a freak. Yeah, you know it, bro. P-H-R-E-A-C-K, freak. All right, that's enough. Now get me off your hairy shoulders, you fucking buffoon. This kind of reminds me of that time Jake Paul released that uh, influencer course on like how to become a famous influencer and make billions of dollars that was really honest and successful and helped lots of people uh, after they spent their hard-earned money on it. It's uh, super, $79 well spent in my opinion, for me. So thank you, Emma, for your sage wisdom. Uh, and thank you guys for subscribing to my OnlyFans. And don't forget to say hi to me next time you see me out in my supercar. And please, whatever you do, do not rob me because I will be carrying around duffel bags of $20 bills because that's simply what you do once you've got the tools to spread ass and make cash. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you could do me a favor, uh, make sure to hit that high tier subscription on my new OF and hip thrust. That motherfucking like button for me. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.